so just keep recording if I get up and go pick geese up or, or that, they'll I'll still get up and walk oh, look at you. you. All you gotta do is turn this. New up. cameraman Whoa. on Look there. at that, look at that. What? Yeah. I don't know. Look, Whitey's excited about Now I get to kill every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, this is true. Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are out here. We are still up here in North Dakota. Uh, again, big shout out to Michael McNeil. Go give him a follow. He's got a YouTube channel. He's got Instagram. Awesome, funny fella. Um, how many decoys did we get out? You're roughly 100? 100, yeah. Right out of 100, okay. Let's show you the juice. Cut wheat field today. We picked a spot on top of a knoll, uh, kind of where they wanted to be. These birds, it was uh, 180 in here yesterday. What Michael seen, look at this flock of mallards. Oh boy, that's a large flock. I'm gonna get in the blind so we can film a duck show. Uh, but real quick, August 22nd, um, this video is probably going up after August 22nd, I would imagine. Wow, look at the ducks. Um, ducks, we got a bunch of new stuff, bunch of new stuff, headlamps. First ever time having headlamps. Uh, and the chokes are new this year, check it out. What a beaut. Anodized gold, yeah. I call it the old golden tooth. Use uh, code Bob at checkout, duckswaterfowl.com to uh, save yourself some money and you also help me out at the same <laughs> time uh new uh duck and goose calls this year uh let me get them out and i'll show you check it out we have the new duck calls a sweet sandstone color uh they are our guide series calls acrylic call and i am loving them the goose call they're matching uh-huh ducksworderfell.com also by this time i should have my pro model duck and goose call up uh really excited for you all to see that so if you haven't went over and checked out all the new merch over there and gear and and all that stuff we're, we're gonna have floaters this year uh go over there and check it all out remember use code bob thank you very much i'm gonna shut up we are in brand new tangle free xl layouts these are large in charge and extremely comfortable i'm gonna try to film some ducks for y'all <laughs> Yeah, but they hated it, let me tell you. Honkers, the, jo <laughs> the joy of honkers, how they shortstop you. Oh, yeah, baby. Here's something. No. Here we go. 
Better shoot him on the left. Is there more coming? Is there more coming? There's two landed on the yeah, left. Yeah, shoot him on the left. He fell out, you got one. Yep, he's straight straight with you down the road. Right over that knoll. You get that? Yeah. Right over the bluff. On was, the other side of the handle. That was tough. They came to us, but they landed on the far, far edge of the left side of the decoys. Okay. Michael did get one. He fell out over here. So we got one on the ground. Skunks. Usually if you zoom all the way out, they're like wide. They'll focus and you can zoom back in. Single out front. Skunks out of the boat. There we go. Hey, take what we can get. never think these birds have never been hunted all summer long you would never think they'd be this difficult goodness like really
Wow. Bypack still on bite left foot. Or up front. <laughs> From the back right, back right gonna come over. I don't want you to shoot him right there. Only, that's the only shot we're getting. I mean, we're right. He's scouting. He's knocking on some doors. Trying to ask permission on a new field. <laughs> Two cars here. No answer. Yeah, so this morning was not cool. Um, been scouting, found two little feeds, got permission on one. Uh, very small. So it sounds like we might split up the big group. Nobody there. Nobody home. Darn it. Look like there's nobody home. Maybe taking, maybe taking a shower. Maybe taking a shower. <laughs> maybe taking a shower. <laughs> uh, but I think we're wanting to split the group up. It's going to be my last day to hunt. We'd like to get something done for you all to have something to watch at home. So we're trying. We're trying. These things happen. If anything, this morning was relatable to a lot of y'all at home, right? Um, it happens. It happens. I can I can go through reasons why we think it happened, uh, but the conditions kind of sucked. You know, it was rainy. Um, those birds, traditionally in that field with the scouting that's been had, they are very which honkers right now are very family grouped up. You know, really just scattered. This little field we found back here though, they were grouped up real tight, which was cool. And what that what I'm saying is. Your seatbelt's gonna keep dinging. Oh, my bad, bub. Everybody at home's going, come on, Wyatt, put your damn seatbelt ah. on. Um, but when you find it's a small fill, <clears throat> it did have a posted sign on it, but you can still get permission, you know what I mean? If a field up here is posted, you must still get permission. If a field up here is not posted, and like Whitey just taught me, if it's completely cut, meaning all of the crop is cut out of it, you're more than welcome to go in there and hunt it without having to get permission, right? Um, if there is any standing crop, turn here. Yes, sir. If there's any standing crop remaining in that field, like let's say they only cut half of it and then maybe rain shut them down type of thing, you have to get permission, even if it's not posted. So just put that in the old memory bank um, if you come up here to North Dakota. Yeah, a lot of people are under the impression, hey, we can just go there and hunt whatever, whenever, without having to ask. There are uh, hoops to jump through. So it's not just a have at it type of deal. And another thing, just a reminder, if it's wet at all, or if you think it might be wet, don't drive a truck in it. Because they can still get after you if you stick a truck out there. Not good. Uh, but we're trying, y'all. <laughs> Let's see uh, 
what pans out and where we head tomorrow. This is this road turn or is it just does it get yeah, awful? Yeah, a private lane that goes back to this farm. It's a big farm or something. Maybe we'll know some information. Oh, about we're not here. done filming. Old look at old Whitey. He's I'm trying. He's sniffing them out. I'm trying. You're good at permission, White. I try. You do. You pull them out of the yin yang a lot of times. Yeah. Too bad White Pages didn't work on this one. It'd be so much easier. Yeah. You gave us the wrong number on there, per usual. The guy's from Minnesota, so. Right. And we're calling with a Kansas number. <laughs> <laughs> but it came up some company, Dave. That was some ink company. So it wasn't the same name either. So it definitely wasn't the right phone number. Yeah, I always get asked by you guys, how do you get permission? Where do you find the phone numbers? You can download white pages. So you take the number off of OnX, right? You put it in white pages, which you do have to pay for the app. But I would say even at home, it only works, truly works. When you get the actual farmer or landowner's number, it only works, uh, man, I bet you it's still under 50%. Look, someone's home. They got doors open, kids out. Yeah, we got we might get some information from this. They may not own the field or farm it, but they might know who does. Yeah, I just need to lead. Let's all see how Whitey fares here. Cole, don't yell at me. I got flip flops on. Godspeed. I'll try. Oh, Mama's home. Mama's home. She's smiling. She's looking nice, looking happy. He's saying, Do you know who farms this? I can't whip the camera at him because they'll see me filming and that would be an automatic no. She's thinking. She's doing this. Hmm. Hmm. Come on. Truly, there's probably 60 or 70 honkers in this field that we're trying to get permission on. But the whole field is covered in hay bales, round bales, which... When the birds first hit the field, it condenses them. So they're not spread out everywhere. It condenses them. So right when we found them today, they were all in one group. And then after probably, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of feeding together, those families start separating across the field. So I think we would have good luck, especially hiding against a couple round bills. That, that's the money trick right there. All right, we're going to pause here and see what he comes up with. He's still talking. He's working magic. Uh-oh. That was quick. He's jogging. He's got a beat in this step. You got a lead. You got a lead? We, got the, we, got, we know who the farmer is now. Nice. Yeah. Got his address. It's back in Cooperstown. I we can try to call him. She didn't have his phone number, unfortunately. Oh. Well, maybe... Can we white, try to white page his we could. number? Yeah. Well, there's my phone. Go ahead. I don't know I can look at this address. It's only like five miles away, I think. Oh, there you go. That's even better. I'll try to get I feel like on. the face-to-face -face action up here north is much better than a Kansas number dialing. Yeah. Right? I'd rather interact with them, too, so they know who you are. Right. 107. All right. Well, we're headed that way. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Thanks, boys. Oh, yeah. No problem. They hooked it up. Look what they did for us. Texas toast, chops, the kids are coming taters. The yeah, they are. Woo. They got the feed for the morning and took the food. Is this pocket knife clean? Who did that? Huh? Don't put that on me. <laughs> I'm taking the thick one. You would. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. They're it should be like two plus. Two plus right. at least for everybody. Alright, alright. I'll take this yeah, one. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm stuffed. I had two pork chops. The taters, veggies, Texas toast, stuffed. So, little update on the scouting situation and the plan for tomorrow. Um, as we were heading to the farmer's house for the hay bale hunt, sheet water deal, um, called Cole. He said, hey, what's the farmer's name? Because Michael, his house we're staying at, uh, Michael McNeil, he was like, hey, what's his name? I might know him. We gave him his name. He's like, hey, I know him. I'll just call him. You don't have to go by his house. Called him. Someone had already wrapped it up for tomorrow being Saturday. Um, tomorrow being Saturday is realistically the first day. Opening day was Thursday. Saturday is when 
everybody's going to be off of work and they're going to be hunting. So it wasn't a surprise that someone did wrap it up, even though it wasn't only a, even though it was only a 50 bird hunt, it was a really juicy, cool little situation. So anybody would love to uh, get at them. No, you're not going to kill a lot, but um, it's just a really neat little setup and experience. So we were kind of bummed after that, you know, we we're like, well, we're just going to wrap it up. We'll just go hunt the other 50 birder that we have split up into two teams uh one person or one group the bigger group being five guys total go hunt the 120 birder and then me cole and whitey go hunt the 50 birder well halfway back cole calls we're good on a hundred a brand new 140 birder and there ended up being like 150, 160, 170 in there-ish on a brand new field that one of the young boys, uh, I haven't sh he's been on, he was on the first hunt. Uh, they got it. They really came through. So they went to a new area, kind of up towards Devil's Lake, uh, and really scored there on a new field. I believe the farmer's nephew, if I understood correctly, was one of their buddies or somebody that they knew. So he's going to end up coming with us tomorrow as well. Um, so just kind of piecing the puzzle together, uh, North Dakota, it can be really easy where the field isn't posted, the crops are cut and things become easy, but you know what I learned today? I didn't know if you get an unposted field, if that quarter or whatever it is section isn't all the way cut, you still have to get permission. Yes. So, I didn't know that. Yeah. So North Dakota land can be posted two ways one by physical sign one by electronic posting but if it's non-harvested which means swaths standing crop or partial crop you still have to get permission on it to be able to hunt it um it's just uh there's a little different rules here the north dakota is a very hunter friendly state i mean it's a lot of places you can go that you can still um if it's not posted physically or electronic you can just walk out there and hunt it a lot of open ac and land access and most of the stuff that's posted is for deer or pheasants but most guys for waterfall let you go unless they hunt themselves but gotcha. you always got to double check and even for me even if it's not posted give that farmer a call gotcha. i mean why not most of them will say yeah or they might even tell you hey i got another field down the road that's got birds in it so right just make sure you do that and it's and then make sure you pick up your trash too that's a big thing too when you're yeah. done keep the relationships with the farmers around here really good because we are very hunter friendly here in north dakota and it only takes that one guy out of state or resident to mess it up for everybody else every time every time one yeah. guy doesn't matter if you're outfitting doesn't matter if you're buddy hunting don't leave ruts if it's somewhat wet walk it in use a quad don't just think your truck's four-wheel drive and you're gonna go crazy billy out here and leave ruts in a farmer's field and ruin it for everybody else for the next 20 freaking years until the field sells again exactly use your brain don't ruin it for everybody exactly and if you like any of the north dakota hunting like to watch snow goose hunting you can go to my youtube channel I, there's a lot of stuff under there you guys can ask me any questions you want it's michael underscore underscore mcneil m-c-n-e-a-l on youtube or on instagram so i post a lot of stuff on there cool content He's also been repping the old federal ammo Yes. How long yeah. have you been with Federal? Ten years. Brian wow. Calvington from Federal has been very good to me. Um, Federal has always taken very good care of me, and and I, I I've shot Federal ammo even before they took care of me. So um, they've always been good with me. So and I got a big sign on the front of the house here that says uh, we only shoot Federal ammunition and stuff. And it's you know all ammo is good, but you know what I mean. Federal's been around for a long time, and they've always taken good care of me, so I, I good take good care of them. Good, good people. I miss them, folks. I haven't got to talk yeah. to them for a while. Yeah, yep. I took them hunting for four or five years straight, and I just miss them. Oh, yeah. They're, They're good all people. a lot of fun. A lot of people. A lot of good people. And it's been fun, too. This is our first hunt together. We've known oh, yeah. each other for a while and talked on the phone and, and text, and it's kind of fun to have Bobby at my house here and at camp, and yeah. that's nice, good, fun to cut up with different Thanks people. Thanks for and, the warm welcome and giving me a bed to sleep Well, in. and it gets cold here, and we got four feet of snow. I'm coming down to your place, so... He needs to do so. Yes. Come experience some burnt cooking. Burnt cooking, yep. All right, let's go load the trailer. Go load the trailer.